Today, I'm gonna design a landing page in 10 minutes, 30 minutes, and with an unlimited time cap to see what the difference is. So this should be a fun challenge. So let's get started. So each time I'll start from scratch, I have my grid set up in an empty frame. I went ahead and prepared some simple assets that I can utilize throughout the design, and I've thrown together a mood board, so I'm pretty much ready to go. For this challenge, my goal is to create a landing page for a design agency. Other than that, I can do whatever I want each time. They don't have to be similar at all. We'll see what happens. And with that, I'll set the timer to 10 minutes and go. My goal for the 10 minutes is just to create the hero section and make it look somewhat complete. All right, so let's use 16, I think, for the links at 120% line height. I'm gonna throw all of this in auto layouts as quick as humanly possible. At this point, I'm trying to rely on my knowledge of Figma as best I can. I'm using shortcuts to speed things up. Throwing things in auto layout really helps me not have to align them by hand by clicking and dragging and using my arrow keys. I can just set an auto layout and add the spacing in between, have it fill a container, and there's my navigation. All right, we'll make that about 80, and let's set that to black. Throw that on the left, get a paragraph, 16, bump that up to like 160, which should be percentage value. Since the goal here is speed, because I need to get this done in 10 minutes, I want to just get all of my elements on the screen and I can tweak and update them later, which proved to be a challenge in itself not to try to finalize the element immediately because I'm skipping over the wireframe. So at this point in my head, I'm like, okay, it needs to look like a finished design. It's pretty trendy on Dribbble lately to have these different shapes and rectangles with these rounded corners and these kind of cutouts and just organic, unique shapes. So I'm kind of playing around with that in this design a little bit. Plus this rectangle fills up a big section of the screen. I wanna add some social icons here in the corner, but we're running out of time. So first let's add some brands that we've worked with down at the bottom. And let's lower this or raise this rather 24. And I'm gonna copy this, throw it in an auto layout and copy and paste like five of them in there. And then what we'll do is select each one of them, holding a shift and I will set that to fill container. And then I'm gonna put it on my guide there. I just missed that alignment. And I'm gonna drag this over and they'll auto fill the container. That speeds up quite a bit of time. And we can adjust this. Looks pretty good. This might need to be a little larger. During this challenge, I had the timer on my phone. So every now and then I would look over at it and see how much I had left. Not trying to waste a whole lot of time, you know, just staring at the clock. But I had like three minutes left at this point and it had been a while since I checked it. So I made the decision to go ahead and swap it over to a dark theme and try to polish it up a bit. So if I ran out of time, it at least looked completed. And here's the result of the 10 minute challenge. So now I'm gonna start the design over with 30 minutes on the timer. So for each one of the time caps, I am starting over from scratch. And since I already have the hero done pretty much from the first one, I'm gonna use that same hero here with the hopes of finishing off the entire landing page in 30 minutes. So now that we have the hero done, I wanna start laying out the next few sections, kinda of using this same style we already have established. Although I've already designed the hero now twice, it did take about 10 minutes again, so we only have about two thirds of our time cap remaining, which is still a pretty good amount of time for finishing off this landing page. So in my head, I kinda of had a plan for the next few sections that I wanted to finish in this landing page. I at least wanted a team section, a project section, and a call to action. And of course, we're gonna throw in a footer. So for this section, I'm just throwing in some text. It's actually the wrong text now that I see it, uh, but we're gonna throw that in there next to a small paragraph. And then we're reusing some of the assets from the hero section. So we don't have to recreate things from scratch every time and it kind of speeds up this process. The next section, of course, being one of the most important for a design agency, showcasing real projects. So I wanted this section to be pretty large and at least showcase four projects. And I went for the staggered column look, but I'm not quite happy with how this worked out. I would really like to rework this in the final version of the design. But of course, with the 30 minute time cap, you don't have time to really rework a whole lot. So it'll just have to do. To finish off my 30 minute time cap, I had time to throw in a call to action and finish the footer and make a few small adjustments and things that I left out. And this was the result for the 30 minute time cap for this challenge. Definitely an improvement from the 10 minutes since we actually have a full landing page, but it's definitely not in its final state. So I'm actually gonna redo the same design one more time in the unlimited time cap. Enjoy the speed art.
All right, so let's quickly compare. Here is the 10 minute design. Then here is the 30 minute. And then finally, here is the end result. I think it's safe to say that time really makes a difference when it comes to design. Let me know which one is your favorite down in the comments below, and that's gonna do it for this video. Here's some more videos I think you'll like, and as always, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.